Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are continuing the uh, unboxing and also the reviews of the carbon steel cookware. Uh, typically I'm doing the made in France and also made in USA carbon steel cookware. I haven't really ventured into anything else, but with that being said, we have a Debouillé carbon steel mineral B pro nine and a half inch skillet. Now this one is a little bit different than the other Mineral B. This handle here, as you can see, this is my Mineral B, is uh, coated with a, I want to say a paint that is not necessarily heat resistant. So it is not oven safe, only for 10 minutes up to 400 degrees. But the Mineral B Pro has a stainless steel handle, which is oven safe. But with that being said, uh, let's get into the unwrapping. I have already actually pulled the, uh, it has a staple here, so I pulled it and uh, we're gonna get the uh, pan out. All righty. Now I'm thinking about actually saving this uh, paper bag. I do like it. So here we are with the skillet. Now, initial impressions of the way it looks, I like it a lot. It looks great in person. The uh, stainless steel handle looks very premium and uh, the carbon steel pan looks uh, heavy and uh, thick, which uh, I do like. Now, let's actually um, get some information quickly uh, before I get into the skillet itself. So the uh, pan, this one here is nine and a half inches in diameter. Uh, or 24 centimeters for those of you that use centimeters. Uh, now on their website, this pan retails for 95 US dollars. They also have a eight inch that retails for 85 and a 11 inch that retails for 115 US dollars. Um, and I do wanna say that's not including shipping. Let's get some more information out to you guys. Uh, this one is oven safe naturally non-stick high temperature cooking it does have a lifetime warranty and also the signature uh, here on the handle it's actually a heat stop so it is designed to be a sort of uh, cooling effect to the handle to prevent it from becoming uh, too hot while you're cooking on the stove top so let's uh, get into the description of the pan okay, with the cooking surface of 6.9 inches which is uh, honestly, just the bottom of the pan. Uh, the nine and a half inch Mineral B Pro fry pan is the ideal size for cooking up to three eggs or a chicken breast. Perfect when you're cooking a meal for two people. And uh, with that being said, uh, this is the main reason why I decided to get the nine and a half inch pan. Reason being is that, uh, and I'll be honest with you guys, uh, my kiddos, they're young and they are very picky eaters. So typically when I cook any kind of meal that requires, um, you know, some finesse and I want to use my nicer pans, uh, typically my kids aren't going to eat from that. <laughs> They're not going to eat that food. What they want is uh, something else. And I'm either using the oven or the microwave. And uh, typically that's what their meals are about. Now, that's not always the case. There are times where I do cook, um, meals for the entire family, which I know that the kids are going to eat. But uh, I want to say about 90% of the time, the meals are only for just uh, my wife and I. The thickness is two and a half millimeter and the weight is three pounds. Let's get into the pan itself. Now the pan does have two rivets which uh, do look pretty heavy duty. The carbon steel is actually a good uh, weight or thickness. And overall, I just want to say that this pan feels great in the hand, very maneuverable, very easy to handle. And uh, if you're going to be doing some sauteing, this is going to be great for those kinds of uh, techniques uh, in the kitchen.
All right, guys, so we're going to let this preheat for about a minute or so. And as you can tell, I do have my spatula here. Now, I'm hoping that I'm not going to need it, uh, but I have it just in case things get sticky. But right now we are just preheating. And as always, guys, in the beginning, when you when you have a pan like this one here, it's not jet black. It doesn't have a uh, thicker layer of seasoning. So I am going to use a little bit more butter than I usually do. Um, and I do recommend it with newer pans. As I mentioned, this one's been only dedicated for omelets and um, eggs. Uh, I used it, I want to say once or twice for uh, some protein, which was um, some chicken. And I think the other time was a filet mignon. But um, other than that, it's just been mostly eggs. So I think we're pretty much there. So let's get started. We got some salted butter. We're just going to rub it on to the pan. Hopefully, don't make a mess. We're going to let it bubble. Once it's finished bubbling, we'll put in the egg. And this is a method that I learned from uh, Uncle Scott's Kitchen. He is an avid user of carbon steel cookware, and he has a lot of knowledge. If you guys haven't seen him or you guys haven't heard of him, I do recommend him. Check out his channel, Uncle Scott's Kitchen, on YouTube. He's also on Twitter, I think, but I haven't checked out uh, his uh, page on Twitter. But if you guys want to ask him questions, you can do so at, on Twitter and YouTube. All right, I think we have enough bubbling here. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn it down. And uh, here we go. Actually, I should let it set first before I try to move it. So I'm hoping that uh, we have good seasoning and good heat control because that is the main point of this. Uh, seasoning and heat control is going to help you out. And with a little bit of just lifting, honestly, it was just a little bit, we have sliding eggs. So I want to say that was a pass. I think it did pretty well and it's doing pretty well. And uh, everything's intact. I think for me, this is good. Actually, I'll try to attempt a flip once uh, the eggs set a little bit more. All right, let's attempt the flip here. Um, man. The egg uh, yolk broke. But I think it's pretty evenly cooked. It looks pretty good to me. No issues there. And I think, as I mentioned earlier, it is a pass, in my opinion. Okay, let's see if this will move still. Yep, still slides around, even with the broken yolk. So as I mentioned, I think this did a great job. I'm very happy with the way it performed. And uh, these pans do an, an amazing job. The weight is pretty, it's pretty good. It's not lightweight. The uh, thickness is also really good. And uh, it just has a very premium feel, which I like. So I do recommend these a lot. If you guys have the opportunity to buy yourself one of these, I do recommend them. Uh, and with that, I appreciate everybody's time. And as always, thank you guys for watching.